What is up guys, Cyber Houdini here and welcome to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom finale. This is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We have gone through so many trials as poor Link and he's taken on fucking five bloody dungeons. Everything that we have suffered through. Damn, what a game it's been, you know. It's been like a triple the size of breath of the wild it's improved so much it's kept a lot of stuff in as well it's it's amazing you know if you play this game you'll never need to play breath of the wild again it's been special they've definitely improved on the dungeons the shrines are back it's so worth a play and it's definitely in the up there as uh, one of the game of the year contenders it's not without its little frustration moments as well but that's with every game you know no there's no such thing as perfect but this is damn close to it. So, we've cleaned up as much as we could between the great fairies, the, the fourth temple, the secret fifth temple. We've got all of the vows of the sages. All of the sages are ready to go. With their help, just like the divine beasts, we may be able to take on the demon king Ganondorf himself. That's all we've left to do. There's so much more else I could do between the labyrinths and a few other things, but I think it's time. It's Friday, we're heading into the weekend, and nothing screams hype like finishing game or starting a game on a Friday. And we've got lots coming this July, between Remnant from the Ashes 2, Pikmin 4, the brand new Telltale Expanse game, which is, uh, you know, the rebirth of Telltale, that's going to be pretty special. Lots more where that came from. Final Fantasy 16 is just going from strength to strength. So, yeah, we are... We are fucking living it up right now. Very, very happy gamer. And now we're going to finish this game. Jesus. I mean, the thing about these, this game, same with Breath of the Wild, it's never truly finished. Just when you think you've scoured every corner, you find about 65 more things. It's all good. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed building weird things. I've enjoyed messing around with Koroks and everything. It's that kind of bittersweet finish. But it's time. It's time to see what befallen Raru... Can we save the Princess Zelda? And most importantly, can we put an end to the Demon King Ganondorf? I hope so. I fucking hope so. I'm about to kick his ass. I'm going to kick his motherfucking ass. Okay. Nice. So I've kind of gone round, upgraded me armor a little bit. So I'm not just walking into a disaster. We got a, a really awesome little side boss. A little boss before the boss. Which was uh, Phantom Ganon. Which was that mummified corpse that we had been seeing uh, in the trailer. Obviously that's not the real McCoy. And uh, it was also revealed that that was Zelda's. It would have been nice to have a side villain. Like Girahim was amazing. Hey Dynamite, how's it going dude? Happy Friday, man. How are you feeling today? I hope you're doing good. Hope today is treating you well. Any old uh, stories or anything? Let's see. I wanted to go and quickly fight a Lionel. Because I've been doing it off, off camera. But I haven't done it on camera. They're a very cool boss. They're basically a, a giant centaur. A uh, very formidable challenge between. Oh, actually, look, there's a, a Gleok. We haven't done that either. How about that? Let's fight. Let's try and fight a Gleok. The King Kedora inspired triple headed dragon. They don't seem to be um, part of the story, so they're just dotted around. Let's fight one of those. I haven't done one of those on camera. Here's a nice, easy one, probably. We'll see. These are. There's so many great little bosses like this. But just like in like from software games, the fucking awesome bosses are relegated to like optional content. And you know me, I don't believe in optional content. I believe if it's fun, I'ma seek it out. Let's just make sure we're covered from the heat. Are you still been grinding away? Gotta make sure. Let's grab a save here as well. I got I got a couple extra hearts as well, nothing too fancy. Then we'll go straight to Ganon, because I think it's just Ganon and that's it. It could be an hour, it could be two hours, I don't know. Look at this bastard. How are we going to fight this? I don't know. Hopefully he'll come down from there. 
You there! Giant tree-headed worm. Reveal yourself. Yeah, I've been trying to track down Transformers the last night it was since we were talking about it. It was super fun. I want to see if it's any good. The Flame Gleok. Eat it, bitch! Let's see. Oh, that didn't do much. Let's see if he's going to... Did you come down here? Oh, my God. Flame lasers. Damn, he almost broke my shield. Is he gonna come down? Yes, he is. Come on, you big heifer. Damn! So you're gonna have to we're gonna have to destroy all three heads. It looks like anyway. Oh they don't nice. Reminds me of uh House of the Dead. Let's put a key sigh on that, and that'll home in on his head. Did you fall over? Aww. Poor little guy, let me help. Whoop your fucking ass! <laughs> Alright, locking on seems to cause a huge camera issue. Smack a doom! Damn, this music's cool, but he takes a beating. Hey, Lacuna, hello, how's it going? I thought I'd fight one of these dragons before we put an end to this game. Uh, no stories, finally locked Optimus. Nice, congrats, dude. Well deserved. Uh, it's going well, packed my stuff. Yes, dude, yes. I'm so happy for you. I wish you nothing but the best. Be safe, mind yourself. You know how you you can uh, get to the point where you're like so hyped for something, something stupid happens, you walk out in traffic or something. So just mind yourself, enjoy yourself. Hopefully you got enough uh, money together before you went. Bump. Alright, I'm trying to see do I have uh, something left over. A silver Linux. What's it called? Silver Lizophol Horn. I don't think I do, do I? Oh, I do. Okay, all right, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Alright. How are you guys doing? All the hype. All the hype. We'll get into some stuff later. I'm kind of um, apprehensive about downloading uh, Call of Duty Cold War. It's too fucking big. Nice. Can we schedule our plans? Make sure everything's still good? Yeah, exactly. All right. Come on, you big heifer. Let's see what you got. Damn. wonder is there a better way of... Let's get a little shocking off. Ow. Shut the fuck up! You ugly beast! Ugh. One more. You're getting a taste of the Master Sword. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Let's bring it out, baby. Wait, watch it. Watch his health now. Y'all ready for this? Kick his. You're missing him! Why is the camera so bogus? That's right, bitch. The camera zooms in on his body. Oh, uh, now what has he got? Come on, bitch. Oh, shit. Flame balls. Let's see, can we hit them back at him? Boom! No, it doesn't seem to work. There you go. That's one, okay, not much, not much damage there. My fucking, the AI keeps getting in the way. Oh shit! Damn, they're really hard, it's a, that's a horrible camera. As usual, Nintendo. Fucking 10 steps forward and 10 steps back at the same time. The only other company that does it like that is Bethesda. Here's a brand new fucking game you waited 11 years for. Don't mind if we just use the same engine from fucking 18 years ago. Come on, you big dragon bastard! I like that you gotta take on the three heads. What else you got? He's gonna do something else now. Some kind of fucking Charizard seismic toss. Is he going back up there? Oh, hell no! Oh, we can't have that. No, 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 no. Get your little ass up there. Two in the pink and one in the link. Alright, land that big ass. I bet you can't do any damage. Oh, shit! Jesus Christ! I don't know what that is. 
<laughs> I don't want to get hit by it. Damn, are you coming down? Mom says you have to come inside for dinner. Stop playing three-headed dragon. Damn, that's fucking scary, dude. That is... Apparently that got me. Holy mother of sauce on a biscuit. Damn, it's one of those, like... The splash damage is the equator. Yeah, I'm gonna play all the old Transformer games. See, can we knock this fucker out of the sky? No, it's not. It's not locking on. He's too high up. Fucking douchebag. Man, I wonder how you get up there. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, that still hits you. Eat, it, eat all the herb. He loves that herb. All right, let's see if we ride this up. Riders. Hello. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my three-headed dragon. Take good care of yourself. Because I'm going to shoot you in the dick. Eat it. This is, this is the premiere of Oppenheimer. Someone fell down. Oh, it'd be a shame if I was to just fucking slam dunk on your fucking head. Ugh. Ugh. You're dead. Nice. Knock him out of the sky. He did so much damage. Let me guess. He does fuck off. Got the guts of the Gliok. Let me guess. Some wings. All these are really good boss items. A flame horn. A crown like fire imbued horn of a Gliok. Attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power. Nice. More wings. Flame horn. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. The. the the more difficult the enemy you fight, uh, the better the shit you get off. It's pretty obvious. Alright, where was this fucking uh, Lionel? Alright, I actually think the Lionels are even more difficult than that. That was just awkward because for some reason it was locking onto his body. It wasn't something I could change. Is this the right way? Touch my body. No, it's not. Job a chair. Yeah, I hope you have the best weekend. Jesus, talk about well-earned, long time coming. Summer, like, officially starts for you as well. The cool thing about the Lionels is because they're centaurs and the nature of horses in the game, um, you can actually ride one of them. It'll do damage to it. And, like, you're going up against this proud, majestic race of beasts. And you go and ride it like a horse. I mean, that is like the definition of a kick in the face. I like how in the desert it goes wicked cold at nighttime and wicked hot during the day. I'm trying to get over to that little skull. It's down here, is it? Yeah, I like the stamps in this game. Never did figure out what the hell the deal was with the coordination. They were trying to pull a Minecraft with the coordination stuff, but then didn't. I must be on the far side. Yeah, I think I am. The cool thing about the Lionels is they have a bow that will fire three arrows at once using three items, but only use one, you know? It's kind of cool. Um, and obviously, uh, you can use their guts to improve their armor, which I have done. It's not easy to get, sadly. I think he's on the far side of this. You gotta be careful. They, they aggro so far away. But yeah, they're a formidable enemy. Now that you have your little AI companions, they're meant to help, but I find they get in the way. I don't think this guy's here. He would have attacked me already. I wonder. Maybe he just didn't respawn. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm glad I got to fight that Gliok. Come here, bastard. We'll be ready for him. I still got grinding to do as a couple of bonus rewards I want. Nice. I mean, you might as well. I wouldn't even bother grinding. You've got, like, what, two more months or something before it's over? Whenever the fuck it is, I wouldn't even grind. Because what I find, like, with the grinding, it kind of, it's just something to do, usually. But then you also find you're like, oh, fuck, man, it's so boring now, kind of thing, you know? You're like, shit. Because I was like that too. I'm like, I really just want this skin. Then I don't give a fuck. And you realize how boring the battle pass stuff is. Like, I don't think I've done a singular quest in my life besides the Dark Maul stuff. 
Is he not down here either? No, he's down here. This is one of the tough ones. Almost one of the, the toughest ones. This one's the blue maned one, even though he's... It's purple, but there you go. It just means ice version. The silver Lionel is the hardest. He's full on zebra, but you can see this guy. He used his horn, horns, his fists. He's got weapons, bows, everything, and he's a fucking centaur. But you get pretty good at them. And this one's extra harder because of the horrible snow conditions, so you can't wear your favorite armor. I always save just before, because they will kick your fucking ass. Let's go. Let's go! Who have I got with me? A couple of fucking bozos. That's who I've got with me. They're all getting the bastard way. We have the new one as well, which is a giant fucking mech following us around. And if you thought these little guys get in the way, a giant fucking mech sure fuck gets in the way. It doesn't even do that much good. It was, the whole thing was so strange. I was expecting this lovely story about this, uh, you know, fucking sister. On well, the last surviving Zonai, and all I get is a fucking... Mech. Alright, motherfucker. God, listen to the noise it makes. It's kind of broken. Alright, you Lionel bastard. Let's go! What you got, huh? So he charges up. You wanna do a bit of flurry rush, you see? Do some sick backflips for style. He'll do fireballs. If he does the fireballs, shoot him in the face and then you can ride him. He does that charge. Now be very careful. Toro, Toro, you motherfucko. Come here, you bitch. His horns are literal fucking weapons. Kinda cool. Ow! Not quick enough there because he had the bow and arrow out. Oh yeah, then he does that. Fuck, I forgot about that. He's got the fucking bow and arrow out, Link. This game's so stupid. So because he had the bow and arrow out, he won't do a backflip. You can't make this shit up, man. I'm telling you. It's so fucking stupid sometimes. You stupid idiots. You have to have the shield out. Or he won't do... What you want him to do? Same with like uh, you're holding a two-handed weapon. Schmackadoo! Oh yeah, that one's tough. Look, watch the AI just standing around. Absolute epicness. You just can't fucking. You, you can't go to the store and pick this stuff up for free. You can't. Fucking idiots! All right. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just wasting good. I'm a uh, good. Weapons and shit. All right, here you go. You want to shoot him in the face? Okay, didn't work for some reason. That's why you want to shoot him in the face. I wonder why it didn't work. If you do that, you can basically just ride him around. It's good fun. But the AI should be helping. There you go. Finally, someone hit him. You can jump on his back and smack the shit out of him. Yahoo! Yeah, old little doggy. I will smack the shit out of you again. Yeah, you fuck. So funny how his AI pathing always has him doing like little turns and stuff. Let's finish this guy off. Oh damn, he likes fireballs. Oh, I think I see what's happening. For some reason that bow and arrow is doing an extra long wind up. I must uh, change it over. Is it because of this one? Super extra long. Let's try the Royal Guards bow. That's a tough one to avoid. I like how they all change it up. Oh, a nice little flurry rush to finish it. Yeah. Goodbye. Nice. Cool fight, huh? There's plenty of other stuff you can do. People like flying in the air with rockets and blasting with the bombs. But I find bombs and all that don't really do a whole lot. And he gives you a nice Lionel bow. Lionel Richie bow. Which fires three at a time. Savage. Maybe the mighty one is better than the savage one. No, I think the savage one is better. Mighty Lionel, let's see. What's this one? Savage. Oh, savage is better. I wonder what the difference is. 20 by 3 and then it's like 30 by 3, is it? 32 by 3, there you go, yeah. That's pretty powerful. Alright, can we pick this up? Nice. Okay. Let's go back to base. I just wanted to fight those two kind of on stream. I never fought a Gliok before, that was fun. I actually managed to send one of his flame balls back at him. So yeah, they're kind of optional, difficult enemies that are dotted around the world. The Lynels were in Breath of the Wild and they were part of other games as well. And the Gliok was just a normal boss in another uh, Zelda, but this time they're around. You get a, a Frost one, as you can imagine, that flame one, and an electric one. 
There's one on a bridge as well that's really cool. But uh, it would appear he has very similar movesets to each other, so it is what it is. Alright, cool. I'm going to let my Master Sword recharge. It needs another 8 minutes while we do the quest. That's what happens. It, it loses charge and becomes unusable, but then it comes back. So it doesn't break, but it becomes unusable, so this is what it is. It is what it is. I want to attach this to it again. It was really cool. It looks like a tongue, but it's not a tongue. So what's the plans, huh? What are the plans for the weekend? Have you picked out any places in Dublin you want to show them? Maybe go to a cheeky arcade, or maybe there's a fairground. I don't know if there's anything going on in, like, Smithfield or anything. So we've got some nice stuff. Our armor is the tits right now. It's... Uh, maximum on each piece which is brought up to 20 pieces each so we get that that's a for a 60 armor which is pretty strong uh, the only thing stronger is a fully upgraded champions leather and then we get the attack up bonus as well and then for using the whole set of the fierce deity we get charge attack stamina up doesn't really explain very much that as usual with these kind of games but basically what that means is when you use your charge attack it, it eats your stamina but by having the charge attack stamina up, it takes very little stamina to do it. So you can actually go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So yeah, it goes on forever. Sorry about that, lads. Sorry, sorry. Right. This tutorial's over. All right, so we have that part done, which is good. Uh, as for heals, we have lots of stuff that will give us 20. Uh, this is just from using uh, Mighty Truffles. Which are these, the big hearty truffles and just normal hearty truffles. Which is pretty simple. Then these are just from apples. But they're really good. Some give me 5, some give me 10. We have some stamina stuff. I wanted to make some attack stuff, but I can't have a fucking arse now at this point. But you never have enough fields. We don't know. Like we, my, I'll end up just walking in and walking out with this fight. I know I will. It's always the way. But I've heard, even you've said so, right? You've said it's a pretty awesome uh, fight, right? This finale fight, I'm excited. Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. The finale fight, of Breath of the Wild, is fucking garbage. That's ah, pretty good, but yeah. The whole of Breath of the Wild's bosses are garbage. Just different elements of Ganon. It's just really that whole, like that whole game. People just slobbered all over, as they always do. And I'm like, you clearly haven't played any of the other Zelda's, cause that was garbage. No dungeons, tedious, tedious stuff. Horrible bosses like what more do I have to say the best thing about that game was like the openness and then the divine beast because you could like move a giant Shadow of the Colossus style beast, you know, I fucking love that This game remedies most of those issues that I had like good dungeons except for that last dungeon was garbage Doo -doo. They waited till then to do a giant padded five-hour mech walking shit good lord don't mind if it takes less than an hour to get five levels the whole time I just listen to music. Nice, nice. What kind of music is this? Uh, Optimus didn't get in a glider. Yeah, that's so stupid. I hate them to do that. They make the stupidest choices. Like, I think the same thing happened with, like, uh, Siri and Yennefer. It's like, one got a fucking emote and one got a glider. And I'm like, that's really fucking annoying. And the same with Leon and Claire from Resident Evil. It's like, it can't be that hard. I know they have to share the wealth, but... Like, just put a little extra bit of work and give them all one of each. You'll have so much more sales. Want to catch a movie? Take a walk down the beach? Lovely. Ramen bars. Nice. And boba places. Okay, okay. Da, da, da. This music is so fucking... It's like... Royal! Alright, Pura, it's time to end this. We're gonna do it at night time. Mm -hmm. to find anything about the fifth sage? We did. It was a pain in the ass. What? The sage of spirits. Minoru. This is... Incredible. Huh? Means we have the five sages. Can't believe there's actually one of the sages that faced off against the demon king alongside Princess Zelda. And now we have news about the princess. There's some relief on that. So, in the ancient past, Princess Zelda worked to restore the decayed master sword and restore it to your hand. Okay. Uh, trusting that you would defeat the... Yeah, okay. Alright, let's do it. Bum, ba -da bum You're gonna give us, like, you know, make all final preparations. The Master Sword was restored, you say? Yeah, so that was probably the moment where she would give you the quest to go on the ma find the Master Sword, but we've done that already. I did it through the Geoglyphs. There's like seven different ways of doing the Master Sword quest. Like, 
the deco tree, the fucking geoglyphs, um, just bumping into fucking dragons in the air, you know. We found out the head of a white dragon of all places. That's hard to believe. However, Princess Zelda's wish. Yeah, she turned into a dragon. You know how hard it is to fuck a flying dragon? Not that hard, actually. Once she believed in so strong, she gave her light to see it through. No, we're going to bring her back. We're going to return her somehow. Not going to stay as a dragon. It's going to be really awkward to bring a dragon home to mom. <laughs> Honestly, as much we'll see how this ends, but as much as I, I've loved these two games, I, I desperately need them to switch it up. You know? Even if they keep the formula, give us a brand new map. But I do miss my traditional Zeldas. Even though, pretty much, when you look back, nearly every single Zelda has been noticeably different in, in every way, you know? The only thing that's really stayed true is, like, the staples, like, Link, the Master Sword, the uh, Z-targeting, you know? That's, that's really the only thing. In terms of the 3D Zeldas, the 2D ones, it's a different story altogether. Alright, bong! Uh, the next one should just say, Destroy Ganondorf! Oh, maybe. Oh, they're all just fucking complete, and that's the way to do it. That's what I like. We needed to determine where the Demon King is lurking. Seems unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. No, he's, he's down in the depths below it. I accidentally fell down there the first thing I did. I can't think of any place he'd be on the surface. That must mean huh? the depths. Well, wouldn't you say there's a high probability he's in the depths? Ah. Yep. Ask Joshua. Okay. She's enthusiastic about investigating them. I already talked to her. That's such a weird way of doing this. Well, there you go. What? Oh, so the Demon King is in the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. As usual, you're one step ahead of me, Link. You look so calm and collected, despite what we're up against. You navigate the depths, which are incredibly dangerous and home to all sorts of nasty creatures. Not to mention all the gloom down there. Nah, it's fine. And yet, you did it. Thank you, Link, so much. Joshua turned out pretty capable, huh? That kid was working tirelessly to gather information. Just let her know yes. how much you're grateful. The deepest reaches of the depths. Okay. Let all the sages know right away and head to the face of the Demon King. You're not alone in this. Princess Zelda's final wish. Check. Please hit the Demon King right in the face for me. Check it. Destroy Ganondorf. No more fucking around. This is it. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Holy shit, man. I got a boner the size of the Eiffel Tower right now. How's it going, Barney? Hello, hello. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Just listen to a song, YouTube music, and just shuffle play. But lately I've just been listening to No Resolve. Hey, look, if a donkey can fuck a dragon, I'm sure... Right? Damn. People are talking about video game donkey. Hey, I made how's it going? Happy Friday. Uh, video game donkey just announced that uh, him and his girl are expecting a baby. And people came through, as you can imagine, and posted the weird dragon donkey baby things from fucking Shrek 3 or 2 or whatever the fuck it was. Can't remember after the first one. That just cracked me the hell up. They're wrong for that. Alright, Josh, I'm here to say thanks and goodbye. Hello. Hello. I know it's rough because we still don't know where Princess Zelda is. She disappeared underground. <laughs> We're about to finish this, dude. So if you don't want spoilers or anything, I can understand that. I hope you're doing well, man. Nice. Finish this game. I, I kind of plugged away at it uh, in the last, you know, two weeks or so. I realized that it had become long in the tooth. This would be stream number 12, I want to say. I thought, no, for sure. Okay. Not allowed in the depths myself, being a kid and all. Sure. What's cool about the depths is it's not just underground. It's closer to something like Low Rule, which is a mirrored version of High Rule. And when you go down there, all the light routes, which are conveniently placed exactly where the shrines are, are exactly the mirrored version named of the of the shrine so it's very helpful and um, also the terrain itself if there's a mountain up there it's a mountain down there but it's coming out of the ground as a big stalagmite thing you know it's really cool it, it, it leads to some really awkward difficult terrain to get through because it's pitch black down there you know so if there's a riverbed up above it's going to cause some issues down there. I've revealed a good bit of the depths. I wouldn't say all of it, but this is the entire of Hyrule. It has changed a good bit since Breath of the Wild, but it's still Hyrule like we know it. And you have the Sky Islands, which, you know, are dotted around very eerily similar to um, Skyward Sword and Sonic Frontiers, which Sonic Frontiers got shit on for having 
pieces of random stuff in the sky, but Tears of the Kingdom was fucking, you know, absolutely fucking given every award possible just for having spits of land sticking out of the sky. And then we have the depths. Yeah, I've revealed as much as I can. It's very tough. You can see all of these little black areas are the um, rivers, you see. But they also act as horrible, annoying giant walls in the way. So, say you wanted to come over here. You couldn't just fucking start here and fly over there. All of this is walled. So, it's, it's quite awkward terrain. I liked it, though. It's just, I wouldn't say it's as uh, exciting to mess around with. I mean, all of the bosses from the game are actually down here. And they have uh, hidden coliseums down here as well. Which act as, uh, as you can imagine, just huge, massive... Um, non-stop wave after wave just enemy craziness like i think one of them sends five lionels after you like you see me just struggling against one there so you can imagine what they're like they're really for the uh you know the tryhards so this was would be where hyrule castle is under here and you can see it's very cleverly blocked most of the dungeons down here are cleverly blocked you see this is why we had so much trouble finding the uh the fire temple and stuff um, I get what they're going for, but just because of the nature of the beast with it being pitch black down there, creating a giant walled off structure in the pitch black is irritating to say the least. But it's still very fun. It gives me vibes of, of low rule, like I said, or the dark realm. It's, it's nice. It also makes me think of Don't Starve Caves as well. So that was a nice little callback. So clearly we're going to be going through here, some kind of a nasty cave, and then finally trying to get through there. So that's what we're going to do, okay? We're gonna fucking fly under Hyrule Castle and see if that's enough to get us there. They might have us do something special though. Let's see. Wind, fire, water, lightning, and spirit. All that's left now is head to the deepest area of the... Uh, okay, cool. That's where we're going. All preparations are mess. And have been final. We might as well eat one of our, our big bats right now. We've got a couple of fives here as well. We might as well. That's what it's here for. All those free hearts. But they go away the moment... You touch the gloom, so you really have to be careful. Kind of fucking sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Soon, okay, remember that gloom weapon I had? The more I used it, it gets rid of your gloom. That also gets rid of your fucking hearts, man. Like, thanks a lot. So weird. It's like punishment. All right. I was shopping for clothes that make a fine wedding guest out of me today, and I cannot tie a tie properly. Uh, how hard can it be, right? Turns out very. There is a a clever little way of doing it. The hardest way to tie a tie. Is when it's on you honest to god because not only is it mirrored because you're probably looking in the mirror or you're looking down so you can't see but there's a way of doing it you just hold it out on your hand like this right and you're going to be tying it around your hand twice and you feed the actual tie through the first loop around your hand and then pull it i'm telling you dude there's there's loads of little videos on it it's no harm there's no i swear the sad thing is, the only time most of us will use ties is um, for weddings, as you said, and funerals. Me, I fucking wear a tie every day, and it pisses me off, honestly. I usually don't close the top button, and then just have the tie just a little loose, and that's comfortable enough. It just fucks with your Adam's apple. But what I do is, it's a cheeky way I do it. I don't wear, like, clip-on ties. But what I do is I just loosen it enough, take it over my head. And put it back on. So I don't have to tie it every morning. Trust me, I don't I don't have five to ten minutes of fucking with a tie every morning when I'm shoveling like porridge into my mouth. Alright boys. Let's do it. Enjoy the wedding though, dude. Hopefully uh have a good time. Get a little dancing in there. We're have about to have a little dance of our own right now. We're gonna dance with the demon king Ganondorf. Oh shit, I almost fucking completely smacked into the giant Hyrule Castle dick. The hell's that doing there? Uh-oh, I just realized. I'm all out of stamina. We're gonna die. We all die together. Let's see, what you got here? Let's have one of these honey candies. I came down here before and it just insta-killed me. So now it didn't. Okay, good. Let's start off with the light route. Good, good, good. That actually mirrors the... Uh... This is probably the only one down here. That will mirror the, the shrine up above. They're very clever. The shrines are little puzzles, for better or for worse, right? But they're also used as fast travel points, because you can't just fast travel wherever you want. You can see it's Camel Baturus. That all sounds weird, right? If you go up above and see what the name of this one is, it's Surotakobak. 
But they're just, I don't know what the fuck they mean, but they're just mirrored of each other. All right, this will reveal the underground map for the Hyrule Castle. It's probably a big fucking dungeon. No, it's not that big, but you'd be surprised. When you zoom in, do your thing, it's going to be a little mini dungeon. Nice. Oh, yeah. All YouTubers are having babies lately. They are, yeah, you're right, you're right. Some, sadly, having a bit of trouble on that front. Yeah, PewDiePie's gone away to have his baby now. we give birth to a little Swedish meatball. It's probably, first word will be the end word. <laughs> what if you're born with eyes all over our body? Oh, fuck, dude. I'd, I'd probably be sick as a dog. Like an angel. Have you ever seen true art of an angel? When we think of angels, we think of these angelic humanoid beings with wings and fucking giant robes on and all that shit. That's just not true. How they're actually described in the ancient text is exactly what you said. Eyeballs everywhere. A giant eyeball. Then you got things like Metatron, which is uh, Gloom's approach. Metatron is the, the voice of God, because apparently we wouldn't be able to hear God's voice. Or God's plan. Apparently Drake got a phone thrown in his face as well. <laughs> what is going on, man? Holy shit. I knew once, you know, the 2010s came along and the smartphone era happened. People stopped watching, you know, watching concerts. They started just going and recording concerts. And it was cool for a bit when everyone would put the torch on their phone instead of the lighters. I'm like, hey, there you go. It's, it works cleverly. And it's not a fire hazard. But then I realized that, yeah, you just stand around. They're all just like this. Life through a lens, huh? Um... Yeah, but now they're just fucking phones. Like, how, how good is phone insurance? You're able to fuck like a $1,200 phone at someone. Pink got one thrown at her. Fucking Drake. Fucking loads of people. Am I supposed to be scared of him? That's cute. Alright, let's see what's down here. We can't touch any of the red stuff. It's bad jujus. The strawberry jam from your nan. Alright, so he's got... Oh, hell no. Not horriblins. Oh, lads. These guys are fun because they drop a horn that is like one of the best things you can... Ow! Thanks for the help up though, I appreciate that. Alright, now we got some electric keys. This is where uh, the fucking AI are supposed to help, but they're just standing around as usual. Where are you, Ganon, you miserable cunt? There's a fucking Lionel down here? And it's a silver Lionel. And it's a silver gloom Lionel. That means anytime I get hit... Game over, man! Let's give it a shot. I'll save here. Told you, Silver Lionels are the toughest. They don't fucking play, dude. Let's go kick his ass. Uh, yo! With them being gloom infected, it means that you don't just get hit. Now you get hit and lose. Oh, look, I already lost all my hearts. You see that? Because of that one boulder that hit me, it took every yellow heart I have. What a cunt. Come on, bitch. Come on, lads, attack him. The master... Yes! Did you hear that? It's on like Donkey Kong. smack a doo Hello there. Hello there. The Lionel from my nightmare. The shadow in the background of the Borg. The unsuspecting victim. What you got, boy, huh? Aya! <laughs> Oh my god, his health just laughs at me. Guys, if you... Nope. Is it time for fireballs? Ow! Come on, lads, do something. Oh my god, flurry rush? Mid-explosion? Sick nasty! Look at that. It's the one cool thing Link can do in this game. Everything else is like your nan playing Fortnite. I thought you'd have a few different moves. Time to ride him! Yay! Put a quarter in the Lionel! Yay! Again, again! Can I go again, Mom? God, I'm trying to... This fucker keeps falling over! It's the only one I didn't want. How did you get up there, you gubshit? 
That's not my fault. Can you get down there? I think the AI is stuck. That's funny as fuck! Watch. That's one stuck AI right there. <laughs> oh, there he is. Uh, come on, let's finish this. Why is he using arrows so much? We just kill ourselves a silver lino. Not too bad. They, they drop hella arrows as well. They're really great for arrows. White maned. Okay. Savage Lionel shield. What did Lionel Richie ever do to you? What else did you drop? Arrows Lionel hoof. Hoof! Hoof in the house? Listen, what's that noise? Damn, sounds like a creepy voice. Is that you? Dear diary. Today I had a weird sex dream about Ganondorf. Is that normal? Of course it is, honey. I had the same dream. Mom, stop! Mom, stop! Mom, stop! I actually don't need this. But let's grab it anyway. Let's just grab a newer version. Alright, now the Master Sword is back. I was trying to save it there. I didn't want to use it. Because I'm going to attach something to it. The Master Sword does... Look at it. It's glowing in the gloom. That's so badass! Cool. Master Sword does, I think, about a base of 40, maybe 60 damage. Um, but then you can attach things to it. So you want to save all your best items. Um, like this, which does 50, the Ancient Blade. I've only got one of them. Now, some, look, some of the Lionel and stuff really is very good. The White Maned. Gibdo Bones are good as well, but because they're bone, you get about 3 hits out of them. The Diamonds are great as well, 25 base. I was using this, but let's use one of these. We, we unlocked them. So you want to hold it out, drop it on the floor. Sounds stupid, I know, but there you go. And take out the weapon you want. And make sure you get the fuse. And then... Ba -bam! Look at this. Oh, it actually... So it kind of changes the Master Sword for a split second. And then it changes back into the Master Sword, you see? But it adds that 44 damage. That's all that matters. So this thing is probably doing close to 100 damage now. Alright. We have this nice Royal Broadsword with durability up. So let's add something to that. That sounds good. Let's, uh, let's add this lad to it. Like, why save everything, you know? Let's make sure we got the right thing equipped. We're gonna need these for Ganon, I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it! Alright, some of our health's fucked. I don't know how to recover that outside of... Hmm, I never thought about that. How do you recover that stuff? How do you, like, heal the gloom? I know you go to the light route, but how do you do it outside of that? Is it this sunshine flower? <clears throat> sunshine, lollipops, and flowers up my ass. Hey, how's it going? Hello, DBG. How you doing? I, I had some good sleep. Did you? Nice. Did you just wake up? I'm so here. You, know, you still in your jammy jams? I'm so here. Um, where is this fucking flower? Look at the amount of shit in this game. Holy hell. It's called, uh, here it is. Sun the lion. Um, petals can be used to restore health depleted by gloom when used in cooking. Okay. I said that you were you way. Oh no. Yeah, 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 yeah. These portable pots, man, are the biggest fucking troll, right? Let you do a bit of cooking on the fly, which is nice, right? But then, lo and behold, they only have one use. You buy a stretch. Okay, let's try that. I know what I'm doing. Steamed mushrooms. I don't think that is gonna heal anything, is it? Like, what the fuck? Gloom damage will not be recovered. But that's why I use them. You don't have as much fun with the recipes in this game, man. Did I not use the right thing? Health depleted by gloom when used in cooking. Yeah, sure. Let's try a bit of raw meat with it, baby. It gets pissy like that. I remember in Don't Starve. There we go. Sunny steamed meat. Don't Starve was funny. Oh, that's kind of cool. Looks like it got rid of some of my yellow hearts, though. Let's make another one of those, because something tells me Ganon's going to be a gloomy bastard, you know? He's going to be one of those kind of guys who's like, don't mind me, I'm just going to rip away some of your shit. 
Yeah, don't starve. You can make like shish kebabs and anything. And you just, you would add a stick to any, any recipe. Just a stick. And <laughs> it's weird. At the end of the day, I'm like, I know we're surviving, but I ain't eating no damn stick. All right, that's going to recover nine, which is very good. We won't need the half of this. Over prepared for nothing. All right, but we do have to find a way to get up there. Luckily, I do come prepared. We do have some gloom ridden Shika outfits. So this gives you three fake hearts that you can use to withstand some of the gloom. It's a pretty clever idea. And you look like a fucking badass too. Or a clan member, depending on where you're from. Oh, careful now. Yeah, I like this foreboding theme. Looks like we're gonna have to climb up here somehow. Go! It's kinda cool. Alright. Let's get us up the hallway. It's gotta be an easier way of doing that, huh? As usual, like, you know, you get the whole way of saving the whole world, Link. But defeated by fucking a little bit of rock climbing. What am I gonna do with you? You're feeling freaky? Oh, damn. You, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, dude. Everyone hide their daughters, hide their wives, hide your sister. Fuck! Ugh. Look at him, it's Brett Michaels, everybody. Welcome back to Rock of Love. Staring Link. To be my Rock of Love. Okay, we could go that way. Let's check the old map. So yeah, we're, we're knee deep in all this. Something tells me he's going to be right here. Kind of going in a weird south, southern pattern. Where else would he be? What's down here? Looks like something was exploded. I wasn't down here, I swear. Might be a, a secret armor set down here. I got this really cute little armor set for him. It's the Royal Guard armor set. And he looks like a Swedish guard. Look, he's got the tights and everything. Have you ever saw the Swish... Not Swedish. The Swish guards. The Swish Swish. The Swiss guard. With their Swiss cheese. That's what they kind of look like if you look them up. But he looks really cute. These were the Royal Guards. Supposed to um, protect the kings and queens and princess of Hyrule. They've done fuck all in the entire lore. I've never seen them once. They might, they might give their life. But I've never seen them once actually do a shagging thing. This looks like it's going down. Do I have to go down more? Oh, you dirty bastard. No, Link, he still jumped up. There's got to be a reason to come down here. Hello? I dropped my slipper. This might be the right way. It is the right way. I gotta save like a motherfucker because sometimes you can't come back from this. I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. You guys ever go shopping just for the sake of shopping? No, I definitely go for the sake of shopping for sure. Sometimes I like to just get out, you know? I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll just go for a walk even before I start streaming because I get in the door, try and get a bit of food. But, you know, it's so stuffy when you get in from work and, like, I'm trying to air out the place and then I just go for a little walk. What the fuck is that? It's like a giant gloom root or something. So, yeah, it's nice. Especially with the weather, how it is. And then, yeah, shopping for the sake of it. The worst thing you can do, and I do it all the time, is uh, shopping when you're hungry. Oh, my God. That is, like, my biggest mistake. Look at that shit! It almost tried to get rid of four hearts. Just that. You wankers. Which one is the one that fell? I think it was this one, was it? Nope. Going up. First floor, men's wear. Don't kick me off, you fucking bastard. Oh my god, where are you right now, Link? Can you tell us where you are? Ah, yes. Third-person cameras. Hate to love them and love to hate them. It's my fucking motto. What the hell? Why does it do that? I think it's because this piece is in the way. Yeah, fucking wanker. It shouldn't be so violent. I should just be able to write it up. You get out of the way. Causing terrible things to happen. Oh, damn it. When someone farts in the elevator. That's more like it. Holy fuck, dude. That's fast. The recall is cool. 
I've solved like 90% of puzzles with just recall and ascend. Everything seems harder than it needs to be. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend. Chill in. I've been trying to do, um, like, uh, a little series of basically hidden gems the last 20 years, you know? Picking out a game from each year. I want to get that off the ground real soon. Just going back from O3. I love how the bats are able to fucking follow you even though the ground itself is gone. Starting to lose a little bit of frame rate there, which is always nice to see. Thanks, Nintendo. Fucking ancient technology. Alright, what's going on? Time for a little cutscene. Talk to me, Ganondorf. I know your ass is down here. The power of the sage cannot reach you. Cool. I'm not afraid of nothing. Ah! Ah! I'm not afraid anymore. I never needed them anyhow. Fucking pain in the hole. Damn, you guys got some skills, huh? I know these weapons. These are Zonite, right? Yeah! Shit, I went and fucking did the stupid thing, people. Now they give me all this stuff. At least they want you... You dirty bastards. At least they want you to be ready. Uh, remind me just not to fucking eat any of my good stuff until I'm in the fight with Ganon because they're just lifting it straight off me with one attack. It's like, thanks! You've successfully fucking destroyed everything I was building up for the finale. Let's see, what can we use to charge this up a little bit? Bad Lizafold. This guy has got a fucking side horn on him. I love them. Fucking oh, I think he got hit with it as well. Alright. Y'all pissing me off. Do you mind? Aya! Not today, motherfuckers. Who just hit me? How'd you get there? Not bad, not bad. What else you got? Oh shit, this guy's still alive. Ugh. You should be fucking dead. Damn, I've got the shield up. That's weird. No, I don't actually. And this is a fucking two-handed weapon, that's what's wrong. He's very proud of himself. That's how we get rid of that gumption. Yeah, when you have two-handed weapons, they won't fucking... God, they won't do anything. Alright, looks like they want us to fly here. Fly like an eagle. Let's see what else we got over here. That was funny. So that's why I don't like claymores that much. Because who the fuck wants to sacrifice everything else just for a little bit stronger power? Uh, let's see. I like these sides. I want to make another one. They're fucking badass. They badass. We can make another one with this. So as much as... Let me see. 37. Anything really shit that we can get rid of? Most of these bone things are going to end up causing me more trouble than it's worth because they will break easy. Maybe I'll drop one. As much as they have 40 health, you're only getting about 4 to 5 hits and then they break. So I'd rather the spear. Oh, it's only 8! Wow, Mighty Zonite Spear it is not. What about you? Mighty Zonite Sword. Alright. God, they don't break their arse with the fucking attack power, do they? Where'd that scythe go? Here it is. He's the, on he's the only one who has a, a horn like that. It's kind of cool. There ya! Brings it up to 42. Not bad, okay. Yeah, the gloom is a big issue down here. Holy shit. The gloom! 
Everything is gloom. But we can remedy it, it's okay. I never figured out what the dark clumps were for. Oh, yeah, baby. Schmeggles and schmeggles. So you thinking of picking up anything yourself? Tell you one thing, like, a, a bit of a uh, unknown repercussion of, like, GameStop going away here in Europe. It has caused a, a huge, like, price war with the others. Like, all we have left now that do games here in Ireland is, like, Smiths. Let's buy this. I can't think of anyone else. Yeah, which is a toy shop, you know? And they don't have really big overheads. Like, they, they make their money off of, um... Uh, toys, you know. So they they usually sell like most new games for fifty five bucks, or even the ones that should be eighty everywhere. This dude, he's in a fucking travelator or something. They sell them for about sixty sixty five. So yeah, now it's like a race to the bottom. I've even found a CEX like they they'll sell games too, but it's they don't really do new games. They sell the pre on stuff. So anything new, you're gonna have to get to your own accord. God, this is like we're going down into the center of the fucking planet of Hyrule or whatever the fuck it's called. That's kinda cool. Let's make our custom hover bike out of the pieces in this garage here. Come on, don't be afraid, it's just a fan. There you go. And of course there's only one fan for whatever reason in mean, numb nuts. So yeah, this this mod I'll have like in terms of bigger games, I'll have Remnant 2, which is only 50, and then Pikmin 4, which is only 50. And the Telltale Expanse game is coming out. That's gonna be their first game, even though they technically announced um, Wolf Among Us first, but the, they're heavily delayed. Whatever's going on, but the Expanse will be cool. If you've never seen that show, you should give it a give it a watch. This is just a giant blocked area, so I'm gonna be forced to fight this guy. Probably. Only problem with this fan bike is uh, there's no down, unfortunately. It do go down though, but it don't down. Fuck this, I ain't got time for this. You might have to fight Ganon himself without using the sages, and you know what? I would love that. Because they're so in the way. A forgotten foundation. Foundation of the world, maybe. PlayStation must have sales joke. Yeah, I've seen that. And I've seen a lot of stuff that I wanted. And I've seen those same games have better sales during Black Friday and the Christmas sales. So, yeah. You know, even a few indie games I've seen go down, like, to one or two bucks. So, yeah. Hold out on that stuff. Oh, damn. They even got give dues. You can start to hear the music is reversed. Yep. We're getting close. Sorry, buddy. Coming through. This is it. This might be where the prophecy is. Cool. I think this is where the prophet. It is. Oh my god, we finally get to see it. What a what a God of War moment. Like literally ripped out of God of War 2018. Look, he got the prophecy. Not the first time uh, Legend of Zelda has had a prophecy. He got the whole prophecy from the start to finish. And what's this? A covered part of the prophecy mural. Damn, I just just fucking rip it straight out of God of War, why don't you? Jesus Christ. That's the worst thing about things like Games of the Year, man. Everyone thinks that that has to be the done thing. Oh, that's one Game of the Year? That sells? Let's make every game like that. Hence why we're so bloated with fucking open world games or Metroidvanias or fucking Battle Royale. So it's all started off with the Zonai. And they had uh, the seven sages, the seven tiers of the kingdom. And they bestowed them to the people of Hyrule. And then Ra-Ru, one of the Zonai, came down to Hyrule and got freaking nasty with Sonya, a Hyrulean, who was also the ancestor of Zelda. And Ra-Ru has gifted uh, his arm to Link. So you can already see there's a motif of... I kind of don't... I don't even want to do this in the, the fierce deity stuff. I want to do it in the, his original... Because it just works so well. So yeah. Link is that at that case almost like a descendant of the Zonai. So they they kinda shacked up with the with the tears and everything and there was great 
great prosperity and peace. Then, after a thousand years, a new male was born of the Gerudo, and he was known as Ganondorf. And he didn't like not having control and not having a tear for himself. So he went quite mad and killed Queen Sonya to steal her tear, which he now has lodged right in his head. And we're gonna we're gonna pull that out of his head. If I need a fucking pry bar and some fucking flex tape, I'll rip that sucker out. So once he got that tear, he became Demon King Ganon with ultimate power. And this is nothing got to do with the Triforce. Triforce hasn't even been mentioned. I don't think it will be either. And that's what he looks like now. He's a nasty boy. He started killing everybody. I love when they, they show dead bodies in murals. It always cracks me up. It's like they're just sleeping, right? Oh yeah, fucking sleeping, alright. But I still find like they, they've manipulated the lore a bit too much. Like Things like the Lynels and a few others, Ganon was never known to create himself. These are wild beasts. Most of them work for Ganon, but it's more of it like, yeah, I want to take over, you know? But no, he, di he didn't actually make some... Uh, the Bokalins, yeah, sure. But not Lynels and that, but it made it sound like he did. I think it's more just the idea of him uh, making his own malice versions of them. Boom! Now we get to see the rest. This is the rest of the mural. The rest of the prophecy we have not seen before. The fuck is that supposed to be? That's him. That's get. Look at that face. Damn. Make an animatronic fucking movie about that. So you can see that this was the fight between the demon king. Even his hair is like malice. And each of the seven sages. I could probably name most of them. Yeah. Little. The little. Uh, you got the Rito. You got the Gerudo. The Goron. You've got. Little Minoru, you've got Zelda, you got Raru in the middle there. Now the next one. So this was also prophesized that Zelda would fix the Master Sword. It was sent 10,000 years into the past. And she fixed it with the ultimate sacrifice of turning herself into the Light Dragon. Also completely ripped from, uh, from software. So you got a little bit of God of War, Zelda... And from software games. Nearly every from software game has some nod of people worshipping dragons, fucking dragons, and eventually turn into human dragon hybrids. It's known as like the way of the dragon and shit like that. Alright, so that that is what we know. And now we're, we can finish this fucking prophecy, right? Actually, let's let's not use that. So I'm gonna piss through my bombs. I guess this is the way forward. It is. It is. Cool to see that prophecy, though. Because, um... It's, you know, the whole motif of the game. Minoru, is, she's been known to, uh... You know, recite the prophecy. It's pretty cool. It does feel like they're pushing towards a third game. We'll see. We'll see how the game ends. I kinda... Would rather not, but, you know, such is the way of Nintendo and 3. They love the number 3. Every boss needs 3 hits. Every Mario boss. So every game needs a third one. Then again, they're also like Valve, where they can't seem to count three with a lot of games. No Mario Galaxy 3. No Odyssey 2. Damn, the imprisoning chamber. Where the whole game started. Very cool. It was Rauru. His arm. That's all that was left. He withered away. And gave his life. To imprison. That bastard Ganon. God, this music is so good! I'm hype! Dorito was the set, right? Dorito! I love Doritos. Who doesn't, man? Who wants to be flaming out of their ass? Damn. There we go. Oh, yeah, eat all your good stuff before the fight, right? I fucking do that. Oh. Let's do it. Let's do it. If I go in with that other armor, I'm gonna die. Come on, you bastard. Gloom's Lair. Oh, shit! Shit! Where are you, son of a bitch? Oh. Just watch, he'll be in here like fucking Fat Thor. Sitting on a couch. Picking the lint out of his belly button. In his fucking boxers with Zelda on them. Jeez, this music! This is godly! Chip, chop, chip. We're so close to the end. 
I'm gonna put this son of a bitch out of his misery. Once and for all. Ganondorf. Here we go. Here's a battlefield if I ever saw one. Jesus Christ. Let's hope it's got multiple phases. Yep, 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 yep. Got that build up of music, wow. Nintendo know what they're doing, that's for sure. Oh. I didn't want to break my legs right at the last moment. I've been known to do that. Accidental grenades and accidental evisceration of my kneecaps. Alright. Not just gonna let us come in for nothing, you know? That was a nice loud yell. Oh. Nice. Let me guess, the sages are back. Yes! Oh wow, the real deals! Cool. Tulin is the best. Oh shit. Let's go! Hell yeah! She's a badass. And now, giant mech. <laughs> Random as fuck. Let's go! Bring it, motherfuckers. You gotta fight all these bastards. The Demon King's Army. It's so cute! A wave goodbye to the Demon King's Army. Alright, Mr. Mech, are you gonna keep them off me or not? Watch the AI at work. Artificial stupidity. I wish um, Tulin had another combat use. Most of them are dying in one hit. Yes. Yeah, I can, I can ride around in this mech. Get him! Sheesh! And I was like, smack a doo! Bad dog! Oh man, that's hurting me. Has he attached anything to his hand? There you go. Fire away, fire away. You're slowing me down. Fuck money. You want some of this bitch? Come on. Aya! You don't know who you're fucking missing with. Bonk. Alright. God, I love the flurry rush. These two are fucking shit up over here. Good to see it. Good to see it. Looks like there's gonna be another phase. Watch out for the second phase. What's it gonna be? A lino? We had a boss vocal in, but. Oh, the lizard folds. Okay. These guys are erratic. I'm I almost get the one I don't want. I need a. Uh, the, the, what's worse is the most useful is Riju. Here she is here. She's fucking tiny! And you have to press on them to get their power to work, see? You try and find that little shit in the crowd. Come on, bitch. What's wrong? Alright, okay. Well, you can't you can't use that either? Nice shot, Tulin. That's the boy! This is cool, man. I like wave-based stuff. My health took a nasty gloom hit, though. See how erratic and weird they can be? Alright. Let's get a little fire bowling ball going. Another phase, is it? Yep. I'm guessing Gibdus, maybe? Or maybe a Lino. Yeah, Gibdus. Okay, cool. These are the weird little... It's cool, we're getting enemies from each area. So to beat these guys, you need fire. 
Otherwise, they're pretty much invulnerable. But also what helps is her lightning. If she just fucking sits still, please sit still. Nice lady. Nice. Fat load use that one. Damn, they're crawling up my ass with the AI doing nothing. Keep them off me, motherfuckers! You can get a, like, a little shield off him. I do wish I could activate the stuff myself. I would happen to find them like that, you know? Because they're erratic AI. They, they don't know what to do. And everything, of course, is on the same button. He's just trying to mind your business. Here we go! Triple kill! Can you move out of the way, giant mech man? Don't need to use that right now. Nice, maze left. That did fucking shag all. Good man, Tulin. No, let's not do that. Let's try. Fire choo choo. One more. Look at all these goodies. Pretty worthless. God of War, I'm telling you. Beating enemies from different areas for the end. Yeah. Oh, that, that's been something that we've actually done since um, the old Final Fantasies and stuff. Oh, these are some big bastards. Yeah, that's definitely one of those ancient. Oh, they got royal fucking halberds. One of those old fucking game tropes. Never go away. Let's say hello to their face hole. Hello, face hole! Oh my god, he ran in front of me and scared the shit out of me. Because you will die from your own bombs far quicker than they ever will. Fucking wankers. Come on, you want some? Chasing me like a bad smell. Flurry rush! Alright, boys, don't make me do everything. Finish them. Hello. Nice shot, Tulin. You're such a little baddie. Thank you, dude. Where would it be without you? It's the rest of the fucking AI are asleep. Sleep at the wheel. That was cool. Thank you, sages. Thank you. Yeah, no, they definitely ripped that, uh, that prophecy stuff straight out of God of War for sure. Anytime I see anything reference God of War 2018, it just reminds me how fucking incredible it was. That gloom, it means but one thing, the demon and then it reminds me how bad Ragnarok was. Holy fucking boss, man. Oh shit, it's all the bosses. Cool. Watch, we're not even going to fight these, watch. I hate this kind of stuff. We won't even fight these. They're gonna hold back and kill them for us or something. We have faith to fight these beasts. Don't worry about us. You go ahead. Yeah. We'll take care of this, Goro. You ready to see the power of a sage? We'll be fine. We already beat them once. True. Be a for sure. But you had my help. Oh. We mysteriously get trapped behind the rubble. Okay. Now, that would have been a really cool Nintendo moment to actually get us to fight those five bosses. That would have been insane. Obviously, maybe with a smaller health pool. But still, no, we got bigger fish to fry. That would have been fucking wicked. But they, not in a million years. We fought those bosses with the sages. And <laughs> they had me. They had me. Now they can barely do it by themselves. I think having the little sage spirits, like on the surface you'd say, oh man, that feels very Elden Ring, but just the nature of when this came out, I, I don't think that it's the same. Steamed mushroom, hmm? Trying to save some of this, I'd rather eat some of the crappy stuff over here. Save me recipes. We have some fairies in case things go wrong. If you die, the fairy brings you back. I was meant to make a recipe out of them, which what are you going to do, huh? I think you can make them into a food to do an even better job. Alright, so we got one that makes uh, five hearts. One that makes 20. 
And we have all these as well. Okay. It is the end, my friend. Okay. Make sure we're all ready. That'll do. Alright, full recovery plus 11 hearts. Not bad. Not bad. We'll save that for later as well. <clears throat> okay, anything else I can do? I think I broke... Oh, I didn't even break that. Holy shit. We're about as, as equipped as we can be. Let's definitely use the Master Sword. I'm, sometimes you gotta be careful, because they want you to do sometimes these fucking story things. Oh, you can't save down here! Yeah, so they want you to do, like, story things, so you'd want to have... It's like, you know, finish the final strike with the Master Sword. And if you've got a dead Master Sword, I, I assume you can't do what you're sent here to do. So where do we go from here? Where are you, Gant? Look at the fucking stuff following my feet around. That's kind of creepy. That's cool, though. It looks very anime. Guess we're going this way. Yeah, that was cool. They didn't let us use the sages down here just so they could do that reveal of the real versions coming to help us. But as you can see, they were more hindrance than anything. Here we go. Oh, my lord. There's a throne if I ever saw one. There's your eyeballs. Damn. This is about as dark as the Legend of Zelda will ever get. This is some fucking Metroid Prime shit. Alright Ganondorf, show your face. It's time. It, it took seven of them to seal them, not even kill them, seal them away. And now, it's just mano a mano, one on one. Can we do that? This world should be shrouded in darkness. Put the shroud in your blood. Get down here, you wrinkly cunt. Damn. He's give me the fuck you, Arch. Now he'll come back to full power. Oh, oh, oh. That's when you stay in the water too long, Ganon. You prony bastard. Am I supposed to be impressed? That's more like it. The blood of the young, just like Hollywood. Rejuvenated. And with, apparently with a Brazilian butt lift as well. <laughs> Come, Demon King Ganondorf. I don't think he's in his final form yet either. Look at him, he's fucking pulling a freezer. Yes. We get the creepy laugh. I will reshape this world as it was meant to be. I've beaten you many times, as many different iterations of Link. This only ends one way. That is what a king must do. Bring it! Yes! I love a good villain. Ow, oh, I broke my ankle! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Come on, motherfucker. I ain't scared of you. I just pissed myself normally. Keeps me warm. Damn! Channeling the Twilight Princess. King's revival. He was very samurai in that game. And the birth of his new world. Damn. He's got the fucking Chad beard with the Chad chin. Yes! Yes! Let's go! My god, look at him. How you doing? Can I interest you in to- OW! Not like this! Oh, Jesus! Look at this, just no music. What'd you say about being pathetic? I see half your health bar gone! Come on, you can do better than that. Oh, he does the flurry rush too? Cool! Sheesh! Ow! <laughs> Oh, damn, you got loads of different shit, huh? Right in the titty! Titty for shitty! Damn, this gloom ain't no joke. Sounds like he said it's fuck. I 
Look at the fucking master sword actually working on him. It's pretty cool. I've barely gotten started. I think he's right. I know that voice. Is that a grimace? Does grimace does his voice? That's right. Phase one. Let's go. See what else you got, boy. You didn't like that, did you? You remember that sword, do you? Huh? What a feeling. I had almost forgotten. One of my favorite lines, boss ever. You think that hurts me? I just just <laughs> right. I am not even near the limits of my Oh Jesus, he's gonna take Viagra. Yo! Master of the Secret Stone. Nice. The glow up. He's a hairy whore. What the fuck is that help by? <laughs> what was that help by? That, that's, a, that's a glitch, right? Right? Hello? Nintendo? You didn't take my arm last time. I was raw room. God, man. Read your own lore. Fuck! What are we gonna do with this nice man? Hold on, I made all that food and I forgot to make a gloom thing. Oh bollocks. You think it'd be okay if I was to just stop and cook some food right here, right now? He wouldn't mind, right? Why didn't one of you remind me? Damn it. What's the smell? I've seen to have sorted myself. Oh dear. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna cook him up. It's okay. Welcome back to Link's Kitchen. Here at Link's Kitchen, we believe in one thing. I can I can. Okay, we're gonna cook something up here. What do you like, Ganondorf, huh? What do you mean no one's done this in the final boss before? Shut up. Shut up. You're just jelly. You're just jelly. I can't fight on an empty stomach. I can't. Let alone three of them. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of flour and a bit of meat. Is that okay? Would you like an egg in there as well? You do look like you need a bit of protein. Oh, you can't cook while enemies are near. What enemies? I think I'm fucked. I forgot to make the fucking gl Wait, do I have some of I think I used it on the outside. You're a bunch of wankers. I used it on the outside. I'm pissed! Damn, look at that. It just completely fucked you. Keeps locking onto the rock one as well. Come on, bitch! I am so dead, it's not even funny. Fuck you! I can't, I can't beat the gloom. The flower on its own doesn't do anything. I was supposed to make some of that gloom stuff, because I knew they were going to pull that shit. Listen, look at all my yellow hearts, as soon as he hits me, they're all gone. What a waste of time. Cooking with Ganondorf, exactly right. Won't let me, he doesn't like it, he's, he's against cooking. He's a cookist. How did they get back in? The place was barred. You were barred from the pub. It's after 9pm. Oh, I like that. I think I'm kind of fucked though, because I can't fix that. You think just eating the flour would be enough, but no. Wankus! I can't cook. Won't cook. Can't cook. Forgot how to cook. Who's the cook? I mean, I think if I wear this stuff with the gloom on it, it's not going to help either. The only way of bringing it back... Let me see. Is there any other way of removing the gloom? You used to be able to use the light route, so there might be a way of doing that. Let me see. I don't think so, though. Perp chip? I was supposed to make, like, four or five of them, because I knew I was going to need it. I'd wait to, like, you know... Um, my heart would go like low like this and then just remove it all at once. Oh. Yeah, it's not gonna let me cook. God damn it! Interesting that the yellow hearts so serve no purpose then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
What did it say about the mighty zone? I think my shield is dead, is it? Damn, the Master Sword's not losing charge. I'm so happy. That move is hot fucking fire. remove it completely? Did he remove that heart 100% completely? Bitch! Yeah, I had no choice but to go for it there. Alright, I'm hoping he's got another phase. Come on now. Because we have to fight like a Calamity Ganon pig before. Come on. Let's go up uh, topside. Let's fight. Let's fight up there. That might restore my hearts too. Come on, motherfucker. Let's get out of here. Damn! Fucking hell. Alright, let's see what this secret stone is. He stole it from Queen Zonya. We don't know what it is. It must be stage stone of power right it has to be we have spirit we have time damn no what the fuck no way is he gonna turn into a dragon oh my god holy shit dude no this is what Zelda did. Oh damn, it's like a full-on Chinese dragon as well. Cool. Who, who, who shouted Link? I think it was all the sages. I think he picked those up with his mouth. You barely could see it. Hey, as long as we're topside, I can heal my fucking health. That was tough. Yeah, I knew gloom was going to be a factor, but Jesus Christ. That's what's wrong with the one-time use pots. It's like, thanks for fucking nothing. It's good for that one specific use. And to just make a couple of meals, having to use five of them is just obnoxious. Oh, a ginger dragon, right? I suppose you're right, he always has been ginger. Never saw it as that, you know? Damn, here we go. Here we go. You know how this is gonna end now. It's kinda giving the, the game away. It's clearly going to be Zelda as the dragon, the light dragon, facing this thing. Holy shit. This is kind of cool because in Calamity Ganon in Breath of the Wild, he was just a big spirit, a big poofy fart, basically. So it's nice to give that fart a little bit of a physical entity. That's so cool. Wow. He usually turns into a pig. It's always been his thing. In his Ganon form, it was he's a pig demon. But in his human form, he's Ganondorf. That's fucking cool. Wow, demon dragon. Yes, draconified. Wow. That would make five fucking dragons. And look, Link right between his teeth. Cool. Just like Superman using the sun, it should repair our health. Here comes the light dragon. Yes, Zelda. Hell knows no fury like a woman scorn or a dragon. Oh man, she's so much smaller. Kick his ass! Holy fuck, is she gonna capture him? Careful! Wow, he's so much bigger than her. Thanks for the lift. Let's go. She is a little bit sentient under all that, you see? This is how it's gonna have to go. Let let us control it like have a crazy dog fight or something. I know it's kind of weird having to fierce deity, but, you know, it's it's basically god version of Link, so it makes sense. Oh, fuck! They're playing chicken! Do it! Fucking end this, Link. Now is the time. God, this is some biblical shit. Holy hell. Now what happens? Watch them introduce new mechanics. Five seconds away from the end of the game.
You failed. What's it gonna be? Oh, we've come all this way. She's probably going to like power up the master sword to be like fucking a hundred foot or something. Skyward sword, yes. The only thing he truly fears is that sword. He fears no one, no man, woman. Damn, alright, give me a second to get my health back. Thank God for that. Let's just do it. Let's just do it to it. Um dum dum. I like invisible shadow eating as well. It's time, motherfucker. Well, how do we fight? Oh, shit! How are we gonna fight this? Wait, I have control, do I? I feel like I do. Jump off. What the fuck is going on right now? But where do I, what do I attack? I don't know, but I'm jumping off. Come on, motherfucker. How do you fight this? Careful. I don't feel like I'm getting any closer. The light dragon is down there to help. All this above Hyrule Castle. What the fuck? Oh my god. You suck. That's 20 hearts, dude. Come on, just try and fucking eat me, bastard. Dude, that's, that's pretty lousy. What the hell is the point of temporary hearts? Alright, where are we hitting them? But it hurts just to stand on them. Fuck. What do we do? What do you attack? Aha! Big old pimples. They really love their trumpets this time. Yeah! Eat motherfucking shit! Come on, move faster, Link. Oh, we could have got another one in there. That counts as a hit, okay. Guess we go back to the light dragon now, do we? Catch me, bitch! Thanks. Up we go again, okay. Man, what a waste of fucking health, just the world over. Watch me need that in the final, final battle. Alright, uh, where's the bitch ass? Bitch, indeed. Alright, can you move a little to the left? She said no. I can't even use Tulin's power. I don't even need to go to his head. What am I thinking? This is fucking cool, man. Nice way of using everything we've learnt. But, damn, did he just piss all over their own rules. Here's 20 temporary hearts that have absolutely no use in this fight at all. Thanks, Mom! Alright, we skipped the middle one. It does appear to, it's best to go down, it seems. Oh my lord, jeez! That's a huge heifer. Thank you! This is fucking cool. Slow going, though. Can I just jump off here? Thanks. Who the fuck needs to wait to go to the top? I'm just removing some boils, it's okay. It won't heal if we don't launch these things. It's cool that, like, literally touching him is removing your health. Like, you can't even be in his vicinity. What the fuck, Link, are you doing? Oh my god, you hairy bastard. That's like aim like a cross-eyed blind man. It doesn't make sense. How the fuck did he miss by so much? Alright, pick me up, man. This is the best Uber I ever had. Thanks, Zelda. I'm gonna reward you later. Someone find the Drussy. Find the Drussy. The Legend of Zelda. Find the Drussy. Here's your fucking trilogy. Slow going with the normal glide. We could use the glide suit to create mobility, but trust me, we're so weak in the glide suit that uh, it will end in tears before bedtime. You don't want that. What a shot! You can't even be mad about that. Nice. Just taking this nice dragon to the vet. It's okay. Gonna take your shots and we're gonna land some boils. It's alright. Every video game ever. I think, I think Japanese developers have like some deep-seated hate surrounding boils. Where's the last one? You know it's gotta be in his head. Oh my god, of the blood moon and everything. Still pissed they didn't use that properly. The coolest motifs in the game, and it's like, 
Durr, 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 load screen. Alright, where the bitch at? He's hiding, he's got big fucking photon beams. The time is now! Rise or fall forever, Link! Let's end this fucking piece of shit. I see you, with your fucking crooked eyes. You're done, Ganon! Damn, you got that dragon breath! Get you a little bit of Listerine after all this. Finish it! <sighs> Alright, tell me there's more. Tell me there's more. I want one final shot at this motherfucker. Fourteen phases. That's all a man could ask for. Nope. He's gonna do it to it. Strike him dead! Do it! Final attack! Yes! In the glow of the blood moon, the reign of the demon king Ganondorf is through. You're done. Hyrule is free. Nice catch. You gotta find a way to bring her back, though. That's, that was fuck, that's about as epic as it gets. I would look another phase with with Ganon. Damn. I'm weird like that. I just like 17 phases. Please, sir, no more phases in our boss fight. As usual, not a single thing I cooked, made, did, meant anything. This is why these bosses are like this. You really can just walk up and beat him with a stick. Damn! Dragon Ball Z moment right there. G -g -g -g. Right, awesome. Just in time for the 4th of July. Nice. I suppose when you look at it this way, us fighting Calamity Ganon and Breath of the Wild is also part of this fight, you know? Do -do -do -do. Now, how do you bring a girl back from dragon form, hmm? Like, that's gonna take a lot of rhinoplasty. Yeah, I made all the food, everything, none of it mattered. All that mattered was a little bit of gloom protection. There it is, Rauru. Maybe he'll summon and thank us. The last of the Zonai. Yeah, I don't know where they could go with this series. Like I said, you'd have to change the map up at this point. There's so much you can do. There's different realms, you know? Between Sacred Realm, which is probably where this is right now. Um, there's Twilight Realm, which I miss dearly. There's Hyrule, Low Rule. There's also a lot of other places. Termia. Oh, she might be able to turn back here. Come on. Maybe Raru's blessing or something. <clears throat> oh, Queen Sonya and Raru. Come on, help her out. She's been true enough. She sacrificed her life. Even though Ganon's, uh, Ganon will be back. Link will be back. Zelda will be back. There's always a different iteration of them across the ages. Nice. How come he's buck naked at the end there? That's weird. He blacks out and wakes up in some sacred realm without his clothes on. I don't know about you, but... Nintendo? Did you slip him a rupee? Somehow Ganon, yeah, it's kind of like the idea of a multiverse, but it's just different timelines, you know? We've had the Kid Link timeline, we've had the Adult Link, we've had a timeline where Link dies, and we think that this is the timeline that he dies in. It's just, they waited 10,000 years for another one to come along, but they believe that he, he died in Calamity Ganon, took over and destroyed the world. 
Kind of cool idea. That's when you get fucking um, Matt Pack to do crazy theories, you know. He's like, where's my fucking shirt, man? Oh, his arm is gone. Oh, now these two can pass on. Thank you, Queen Sonya. You were a fucking stone cold fox. Raru Yurkutu. So the legend of the zone and I are done. I kind of wish there was more to them than that. You got a nice bit of lore, but I just wanted to see their, their life, you know. Is this the first Legend of Zelda that has not even mentioned the Triforce? That's pretty crazy. It was not even... The only, like, it wasn't even a motif. Go get her, dude! Go get her! Imagine that, you get all that way. Yes! And you just fucking let her die, plummet to death. Go on, you earned it, dude! It's a man chasing after his lady love. 6,000 miles in the air. Tom Cruise style. Do it! Save Princess Zelda once and for all. Let the blue balls be done. She's holding out. She's looking for you, Link. Do it. Yes! Hope you got your paraglider. Oh. He... he oh, uh, he couldn't grab her at the start of the game. Shouldn't she be like 10,000 years old? Hey, let's not talk about loopholes, alright? Don't ask the serious logistic questions. Don't you dare. How dare you? It's a video game. Well done, Link. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Oh! People think, like, that's not how the real world works. We need Mythbusters back. You hit the water at that speed, it's gonna be like concrete. God. Damn, have you seen people belly flop and what it does to their balls? Imagine what that just did, huh? Um, we're back in the beautiful clearing. Will there be like a little silent princess? It was a cool little nod to it. Yeah, you know, people also like, you know, always shipping these two together, but they never get together, just like Mario and uh, Peach, you know? But Breath of the Wild really did push it forward like there was a relationship there, you know? Oh. It's so very anime, this, this art style. She's got her little blushes. Finally. Link. How are you? She probably forgot about turning into a dragon, did you? Now she'll be the new queen of Hyrule. That was... She's still got the secret stone, Jesus. The Sage of Time. Yep. Oh, see the way it talks? That's cool. After all. That little noise it's making, it's talking. The sword has a spirit inside of it. This is close to a reference to Skyward Sword you're going to get. He's gone. Yep. The Demon King. For now, for like about six years until they have another Not game out. Dream, right? Oh. You did it. Oh, Link, you really did it. I'm gonna order face tattoos, man. You're not a SoundCloud rapper. Come on, Zelda. For fuck's sake. How am I? Don't ask. You're not a dragon anymore. But if you ever feel the need, you know, to start roaring and breathing fire, no. it's just a side effect of the wear off. Did a voice finish I Tears of the Kingdom? Sleeping all this time. But when I felt something like a warm, loving embrace. She should have been playable. She gets such a bad rap. Why didn't it go back down? It's stuck like that now? Cut the castle. Thank you. And go back down. Splat, right, exactly. Link, I met such wonderful people. I saw Hyrule as it was. I wish I could go back there. I have so much to tell you. So much happened. Oh, Link. I'm home. Aww. Just fucking kiss her, dude. God damn it. You mute bastard. Hasn't said a single fucking word in 30 years. <laughs> 35 years. Dude. Fuck. Complete. We've done it. It's always been the Legend of Zelda, but we, she gets to do fuck all. 
If anything, it's the legend of Link. You should have made her playable. In, in Breath of the Wild, she spends 100 fucking years holding up a giant spell so that Ganondorf can't explode out into the world. This one, she travels back 10,000 years. Then when she finally comes back, she has to turn into a dragon and sacrifice her life. What the fuck? Can someone please get this girl a better job, you know? Maybe let her just work at Starbies or something for a bit. She'd be fine. Just a normal, normal job. But yeah, everyone was hoping she could be playable. But they started to talk about one thing a playable Zelda a year out from release. It was too late, you know? What's done is done. In a different world, if they had mentioned it during Breath of the Wild, she might have been playable, you know? Wonderful, wonderful game. A million times better than Breath of the Wild. But still has its little shortcomings, for sure. Link still feels uh, pretty woeful to control, in my opinion. He's just too small for the world that he's in. Like, the flurry rush and all that is great, but... You know, I'd say Ocarina of Time Link works a bit faster. Uh, the new dungeons were fantastic. Except that end one, the fifth one was a uh, complete drag. I'm not really where I would have push, pushed the story with uh, Minoru, but it's okay. The, the whole Zonai stuff and all the new powers, just wonderful. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty close to perfect, as you can get. But, as I said, yeah, not without... It's shortcomings. I think uh, its biggest issue is its over-reliance on Breath of the Wild. Shrines, breakable weapons, um, a very incoherent story where it's like, it's out there if you want to find it, you know, that kind of way. Which is just sadly the way most uh, open world games are, you know. You could play 80 hours of a game and know about an hour of the story. Uh, they even said that about Starfield as well. They've said it's going to be the biggest game yet. So that you can tell that the main story is going to be a bit of a shit show. I know most of those games, the main story can be completed in like 5 to 10 hours if you just mainline it. Which is nice, but no one does that. You don't even do it even as a speedrun. Speedrun's like, no, I'm going to skip 70% of the game. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Favorite dungeons was the Rito with that amazing fucking, like, almost Norse flying ship. And... I really enjoyed the Gerudo. Between Riju, the creepy Gibdu zombies, uh, the lightning powers, just wonderful. Biggest disappointment was the Gorons, the lovable boulder people. Just felt like a really second, I don't know, second fiddle. The fire temple was great, especially with the mine carts and being down in the depths, but their actual story was so... Oh, they're, they're such a lovable crew that I don't know what happened there. I think... It, it was such a high after the Rito that they, I think they were just like, um, oh fuck, who cares, you know? All they did was they had this uh, meat that was poisoning people and brainwashing them. And then we got Yunobu and then fought a big crab and that was it. Like, fucking hell. It was, it was really rough. In comparison to the Gerudo, which we had a kingdom that was shrouded in a sandstorm, big twister. Then you had... A tower defense game out of nowhere, which was super cool, with zombies. Then you had a cool lightning power. Then the actual temple itself was like Aztec based, and it was very clever, like an upside down thing where you have to kind of go up to go back down and reveal. I thought it was wonderful. And then the one I didn't really talk about, the Zora, the fish people, was pretty fine. It was a little bit awkward. I almost like Breath of the Wild's Zora, where you're like, why are you sending me? around the domain just to find one dude but they like to do that uh, i'm trying to think like best surprise of the game um i think th i think that my my favorite thing was what they've done with archery this is my favorite archery in a video game ever and i i have spoken about how much i am burnt out on archery in games between far cry tomb raider you name it it's just no one's horizons are dawn and forbidden west no one's doing anything with it anymore you know and this game felt like the archery in it felt like green arrow like i had 500 items that all did something different when i attached them to an arrow it's just so clever and so simple that how did no one think of it before you know from obviously bomb arrows to all the way to goofy sticky mushroom arrows that send the enemy flying you know and then you've got the elemental stuff um some of the, my favorite was like the using the eyeballs as a homing arrow that was genius so i really love that favorite archery in a game without a shadow of a doubt 
Um, yeah, some really good side quests. I love the, the great fairies and that. The armor set pieces were wonderful. I really like that they put them in the game now because some of the stuff in Breath of the Wild was amiibo only. Now, you can get them through amiibo in this game too, but they're in the world as well. You just gotta seek them out. I even got a piece from Wind Waker and one piece from Ocarina of Time. But yeah, just, just wonderful. Definitely feeling like it's become a little bit long in the tooth though, you know? Like, it's a really good solid, like... 9.8 out of 10 for me but it's getting long of the tooth i don't want to go back to this world i was already feeling that at the end of breath of the wild and then when when people do those speed runs like right, running up to ganon with a, with a stick a tree branch it really defeats the entirety of the game in a way uh, i'm trying to think of other favorite moments i, I like the little the little band we had to get back together, that was fun. The pirate village was pretty special. Finding Link's home from Breath of the Wild and just having Zelda be there, kind of hinting at the both of them living together was pretty nice. I missed a lot of stuff, like the labyrinths, obviously, I didn't do. Um, there's a whole like town I missed, Tarot Town, when you build your own house, literally out of blocks and stuff. I didn't do that either. So yeah, bad on me, but I, I, I just ran out of time, really, to tell you the truth. Um, I got this early, and then I had life stuff get in the way. And I was gone for like fucking two weeks and it just, I knew it, I was getting a little bit long in the tooth. I was like, I, I wanted to finish it. I did. Didn't want to rush it, but I wanted to finish it on my own terms and I did. Yeah, I think, I think the, that was the hardest moment. That final, that final dungeon was nice. I do like when they do a secret fifth dungeon, but it was just such padding at the end. And a horrible way for Minoru to be part of the story. Like, it should have been, a, like, they should have done... What I would have done is I would have went back to the past just for that section, like almost like a bubble. And see, like, Minoru, this is Raru's fucking sister, one of the last Zonai, and all we get is a stupid mech that we build. Build your own mech. Build a bitch. I didn't like that at all. It was foolishness. It's something that if they had done as the second dungeon, I wouldn't have passed any uh, mind of it. But to do it as the final one on Ganon's doorstep was foolishness. It was pure Japanese padding that most RPGs have. It's like, here's your end game, fucking 15 hours of the same shit. Anyway, very, very good game, like I said, but 9.8. You can't get closer than perfect. Just those little things I had issue with. Same problems as Breath of the Wild. Some of the new powers I preferred way more than Breath of the Wild, and others I missed. Like, um, we had Daruk's shield from Breath of the Wild, which is now the, the Rito water shield, which disappears when you attack. Really stupid, stupid, stupid. Then you've got, like, um, Tulin's the best boy because he's an archer, but he has no other use outside of um, pushing you forward with the um, the wind, you know? So, yeah, it's a little unfortunate. Do -do 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 -do. For the next game, I'd like to see them go back to more traditional. Let's go somewhere weird, you know? Pull a Wind Waker again. Like, Wind Waker came out of nowhere. I was like after Majora's Mask and everyone was like freaked out by how weird that game was. And I didn't get a great reception and Wind Waker didn't get a great reception either. But now it's held in high regard. But I like when they do that. Look at all the people that help out on these teams. Monolith Soft, they work on the Xenoblade Chronicles games. They were doing Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and DLC along with helping out with this game. Like they are just incredible. One of the best purchases that Nintendo have made between that and uh, Next Level that made like a... Uh, Luigi's Mansion, they do a lot of help too. Because people don't know much about Nintendo's studios. But when the time comes down to it, they they pull a Assassin's Creed where you've got 17 fucking studios working on the same thing. Alright, cool. Nice. Pretty decent ending. Still would like just some fucking resolve between Zelda and uh, Link. And Ganon could have done with one last phase. But I'm weird like that. I just would have preferred to fight him one-on-one -on -one after the dragon. Because I think in Breath of the Wild we got the Calamity version. We got, he changed it to a fucking pig that you had to run around on horseback, which is very reminiscent of Ocarina of Time. I really enjoyed that. But his actual boss, the Calamity version, was shit. But, so it's kind of a fucking mix of both, you know? And that dragon bit was so, you know, by the by the book, you know, just hit a few blisters on him, it's done, there's no real challenge, at the end, my, my fucking around with the food and that was just me fucking around, none of it mattered at all, 
you, if you played your cards right there, you could have easily just beat the whole thing with the same three hearts from the start of the game. And that kind of shows you that maybe there's a problem with the difficulty. I don't know. DN. Let's see what it does when we bounce out. Usually they're like, you know, do some uh, side quests and stuff. That was fun. I usually don't talk the whole way through the credits. I usually try and skip through them. But that means there's a good bit to say about the game. That's a good sign. Nice. I'm glad I got to fight a Lionel and the Gle Gleox and all that before we call this quits at the end of this playthrough.